And as many kids are enjoying their summer break, there is plenty to do at the library to keep them engaged and active in the air conditioning, which we love. Joining us in studio with the latest happening at the library, we have our friend Farah with Radio. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for having me. So we've already started our summer reading challenge, but there's so much happening in each of the branches. Mm -hmm. So much is going on. My favorite part in the summer is we're doing lunch at the library. All branches are doing Let's the Library this year, and it's so fun to see because, um, as I've mentioned, it's our 10-year anniversary. We only started with one branch, and now we're all throughout Kern County, and I just love it. Like, even today, if you go right now to Beale, they're doing, KCSOS is doing a burger cook-off right outside by the canal. The kids between ages 2 to 18 can get their burger. They've got, like, um, you know, like vegetables, there's like a, a, a spinach salad. I'm trying to remember what I saw. Spinach right. salad and there's fruit and milk and all kinds of yummy stuff. I was like, man, this looks so good. <laughs> and this is so great because all those kids ages two to 18 eat for free. Mm -hmm. And so you can have that meal off from trying to cook, but also this is so important for our lower income families to have that opportunity. Definitely one out of five kids in Kern County don't know where their next meal is coming from and having it at the library, it's been so much fun because not only you get the meal, but there's so much summer excitement going on. We've got the reading challenge, but like I've seen reptile shows and magic shows and puppet shows and like succulent plant workshops and painting workshops and oh my gosh, the list goes on and on and each location is doing something different. That's the best part. So if you missed at one, you can head to another library and they're doing another performance or another presentation. It's so much fun and I'm excited because, you know, July there's going to be books in motion coming. Yes. So much fun stuff happening at all the libraries. And you can easily follow along on social media. That's how I find mm -hmm. what days we want to go and what we want to do. But we also call what I call a library safari and we check out different branches. Mm -hmm. The buses are all located perfectly to drop you off at the library as well. And there's no time limit on how long you stay. Exactly, exactly. They have stuff going on all day. So not only do they have lunch, they've got performances, they've got events for teens mm -hmm. and then adult events later in the day. There's so much going on. You can make a whole day out of it. And guess what? It's the coolest place to be. Not only because <laughs> it's cool, but also because it's cool inside yeah. the library. So I love every time I walk in, I get that blast of air conditioning. I'm like, all right, we're spending our next two hours right here. Again, lunch at the library completely free for all children. They just mm -hmm. need to have a parent there with them, right? Definitely. Yeah. We even have goats coming to the library this year. How great. Goats. I love this. Thank you so much. <laughs>